And you can't even escape Fleabag in the house you're in, can you? Because the, from series one, the, the wall of penises, that's in your house. That is in my house, yes. They're all, they're all here, keeping me company. <laughs> are they close at hand? Can we have a look? They are, they're actually, they're actually stored here while they're waiting to go into the office, where I, cause, because I'm meant to be going, moving into my office, you know, whenever lockdown is over, and I'm hoping it will eventually become a hat stand or something <laughs> adorable like that. <laughs> Um, but this is, this is who welcomes people when they come to the door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're quite... I honestly don't know what's happened to that one. Can you see? Anyway, so it's been here and the, like, um, a, a couple of months ago. And, you know, my sister and I live here, and when we put it there first, we were like, it would be temporary. And then, you know, when you just put something down in your house and then you don't think about it for ages and it just becomes invisible to you and you forget that you have like 12 massive penises at your front door <laughs> and this uh delivery guy came like a few months ago and opened the door and I just completely forgot he kind of had to like bring something in and he was like knocking against the cocks as he was coming in he was like oh and then I was like oh and I suddenly saw them again for the first time in ages and I was like oh god I'm I'm so sorry and he just looked me dead in the eye and he went it's art never apologize for art <laughs> <laughs> that was such a cool, cool move from him.